I'm Greg Byers, and I am the creator of Acoustic Cuisine. Two, here's Pete. Acoustic Cuisine is a synergy of food and music, sort of an experiment on telling stories through sound and through taste. My name is Matt Sprague, and I am the chef de cuisine for Cafe Alma. Greg Byers approached me and said, hey, I'm a, I'm a really big fan of Alma and um, I've been coming here for a while. Eating at Cafe Alma for the first time was a huge inspiration to me because they were unlocking these flavor combinations and this playfulness. All these raw ingredients came together to form a cohesive dish in the same way that all the elements of a ensemble, all the different instruments come together So Greg spent some time in our kitchens, kind of getting a feel for how we, how we work with food and, and with each other. Trying to take the flavors in these dishes and sort of translate that into a musical feeling. I really hope to give people an opportunity to sort of really slow down and experience these art forms. The event is kind of a journey through the sort of sounds and colors and flavors of fall. But I think individually each song has its own story that sort of unfurls while you eat the food. The concert starts with a ricotta minuet, and this is very inspired by Bach, one of my favorite composers. Seven ingredients, seven musicians. So each musician is slowly layered just like you might actually make the dish. We take that fresh ricotta cheese which you make from uh, whole milk and, uh, and cream and we season that with local honey and herbs like chives and thyme, and rosemary, fresh floral kind of spicy notes as well. A little bit of black pepper and new crop olive oil. A very satisfying and refreshing first little taste. It's a, a straightforward, simple profile of flavors. And I wanted a song that was going to ease the audience into the experience and provide them with something that was familiar without being too daunting. Next, we have the autumn roll, and I wrote a piece called Harvest Waltz for that. I really tried to use the, the textures of the music to convey all the different textures and flavors and Taking uh, fall ingredients such as the uh, such as like sweet potatoes, savoy cabbage, cooking that down with a lot of aromatics, and then kind of rolling that up into a little bite-sized package and uh, serving it with a dipping sauce. This was a fun, playful take on the spring roll, and I wanted the music to be fun, but needed to have an elegance to it still. The next course is a little whimsical. It's a little vegetable tart. We're taking a savory tart shell and then filling that with a, uh, a really buttery squash puree and then topping that with like roasted vegetables, a play off of ratatouille. It evoked the most feeling of home and belonging with the creaminess of the squash. Musically, what I wanted to do was sort of evoke that sense of familiarity, of arrival, of home. I called the song Learning to Grow. It's a sweeter song, it's a sweet song, it's nice. The last savory course, taking beef and braising that with curry spices until it's really tender, and then frying these potato pancakes that we're spicing with a blend of uh, curry spices, and serving that with a little bit of yogurt and mint and turmeric. Because of the really intense flavors going on here, this was sort of a bold imagining of how one might um, musically portray the chaos in the kitchen and how that ends up being this really tasty final product. The next course is a roasted plum consomme. This course is intended to be what we refer to as a palate cleanser. To offset the intensity of the main course, I wanted a song that was just going to sort of very slowly have the sunset on it, just as the flavors might fade away from your tongue as you finish drinking this. Final course for the composition will be an assortment of petty fours, which is kind of small tastes of desserts. I wish I have uh, alliterated it to be the sweet, sweet. The first piece in there is going to be the bittersweet blues, and that is a blues on a chocolate torte. I thought the blues form perfectly fit sort of a silky chocolate vibe. 
And then we move to the lemon tart. And this is just a very silly song form. Tarantellas are all about when you get bit by a tarantula and the crazy dance that you do. I titled it Tart and Tella. Finally, we have a coconut macaroon and I composed a coconut calypso. And this is just a lighthearted, playful end to the meal. For me personally, I, I, I appreciate those types of situations where it, it kind of elevates food beyond just the rudimentary means of it being sustenance. It creates a more cerebral experience of um, being able to think about what you're tasting and what you're feeling at the moment. Creating a realm that made fine dining and high flute and music accessible seemed like a really important thing to do with this. It is a journey, uh, and a very important journey, to introduce people to some of these ideas and say, hey, maybe this isn't as stuck up as you thought it was. Maybe this is a lot more approachable and enjoyable. I would love people to, to come away from the experience just with a curiosity for sort of how do these elements interact. Anytime anybody eats a piece of food, they can experience a story.